big area you're talking about there is actually desktop virtualization. Right. So, so again, so like introducing back to this virtualization concept. So the the idea of virtualizing something is instead of having something physical, um, you have a virtual desktop. So you you um, so so the concept here is um, uh, like Louise was saying is that. You, instead of having your desktop locally, so your operating system installed on your machine, or in, and having Office and um, you know, your web browser and all of your software installed locally here, and all of your files being kept locally on your physical machine here, the idea is that you actually have a very basic, or an almost dumb client um, on, on a, a, a desktop machine, and all it's capable of doing is connecting into the network and receiving images and sending keyboard and mouse strokes to a machine somewhere else. Okay, so once you've got that basic functionality in your local machine here, um, then you can interact with a desktop that's physically running on another machine somewhere else. And the idea of virtualization is to say that you have multiple of those. So whereas at the moment, so like for example, I was talking earlier that um, you know, typically servers are only five to fifteen percent utilized. So why not use up all that extra capacity by servicing multiple users? Okay, so so now for, 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 for the same amount of cooling and energy usage that you have from one machine, you can now service the needs of, say, five users, or you can service the needs of ten users, because they're using their desktops uh, sort of remotely. Um, and again, that has the other benefits of, you know, if your laptop is stolen or, 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 if, you, or, or if your hard drive crashes locally in your machine, you haven't lost anything because you just buy another dumb unit and it connects into the network and all of your stuff is, is, is stored there in the network.